If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the College Football 25 cheese, as always. If you try to get on College Football 25 today around 11 a.m., you might have noticed that the game was not functioning, that the servers were down, and there's a reason for that. EA put out a massive uh, update yesterday. I'll have a link in the description below on screen at the end of the video if you guys didn't see that. But they also had an update today. This one's specifically towards uh, geared towards Dynasty mode, and it's not nearly as big, so they didn't put out a patch note, but I do have some information on what that was most likely about because there was some communication yesterday on CFB Direct's Twitter account suggesting that they were looking at specific things when it came to fixing a dynasty that wasn't in yesterday's patch that people were still having issues with. So if you're in a dynasty and you're still having issues, you're going to want to make sure you stick around for this video. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber, like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's get right into the video. Now, when it comes to why EA is trying to fit all these patches in, it's pretty obvious that they're trying to get this game fixed and get working right before Madden 25 comes out in a couple of days because once that happens uh, number one, I mean, a lot of people might not buy the game based on the fact that College Football 25 is still having so many issues. It might uh, deter some people from spending their money on Madden 25, which is probably going to have a lot of the same issues, a lot of similar issues uh, based on the fact that, you know, they're basically made by the exact same company using the exact same engine, so they're going to be very similar games. So they have to kind of do that just to kind of get right in a lot of people's eyes because based on the fact that a lot of us are playing both. I'm going to be playing both. A lot of people that play football are going to be playing both, and they don't want people to leave college football behind just in case Madden 25 is successful and better in any way so that's why they were racing to get these patches out and that's why they also had to make a second one because yesterday's patch didn't address some of the issues that uh, today's patch tried to address now usually when they do these it's a little bit better plan they usually do them around 6 a.m because they probably know that's when the least amount of players are online uh, this one though they did at 11 15 which is really strange as they did a tweet about two hours ago and i know that it was affecting some people because i actually had a comment on my uh, channel saying that their game wasn't working at all so they probably weren't aware they probably don't follow uh, college football direct on twitter like i do but it says here we're doing some server maintenance shortly to address some issues with dynasty now it says during this time at 11 15 when it started all online modes will be offline including team builder and some ultimate team gauntlet which we gated prior to this maintenance and that server maintenance went on until about 1.42 p.m. Eastern time when they tweeted that all the server maintenance was complete and the game modes are back up and running. So that's about three hours plus, or am I doing my math wrong? It's close to three hours that they were working on the servers for whatever they're trying to add maintenance to. Like I said, I don't know if they're going to actually have any patch notes. They've only done that maybe like two times out of like five. So I can't, I'm just putting this out, assuming that what they were talking about yesterday was the issues that they're patching today. But since it was such a short patch there were no patch notes put out as of the recording of this video but there was a tweet yesterday about 24 hours ago that said the following we are aware of players experiencing issues with dynasty mode including the following and then they mentioned several things that i'll go over in a minute but based off the fact that they tweeted that 24 hours ago and then today they try to do a patch on dynasty mode one has to believe that these are the updates that were implemented into dynasty mode in today's patch so if that's the case these are the updates that were implemented it into the game this morning uh, it's a very small list it's only three things but if you play dynasty mode these things could also ruin the experience uh, and i've actually had a lot of people questioning things very similar to some of the things that they implemented here so one of the things they're trying to address says when using schemes and playbooks to change your coach playbook slash scheme your player archetype and overalls can change based off of the scheme. Now that's something that I have had some people comment about that they're having issues with, along with things like changing jersey numbers and it affecting players. Uh, overalls and stuff like that which is really strange so there's something obviously going on with that if you can't make simple changes without changing something as drastic as overalls because we don't even have the ability to edit players in the game so the fact that you can do that by changing things that aren't even really related to the players is just crazy but that's something that hopefully was effective in the patch because let's be honest even in yesterday's patch a lot of the stuff that they said that they patched and pretty much every single patch that they put out is not always true whether it's not always true for every or just a portion of people that doesn't affect you know the way that they want is really up for debate but i know that there were specific instances in yesterday's patch alone that i mentioned where i said they said this twice there's been multiple patches since the game came out probably like four or five 
And the last time they put out patch notes, they said one of the exact same things uh, that they tried to say that they patched yesterday. So we've, if you play Madden in the last 10 years, I know a lot of college football guys would know, but that's a common thing, a common theme where EA says we patch this and then it's still not patched or it's still broken or it's still in the game or whatever. So even if they said they address these things, it still might be a problem. Now that's clearly the biggest issue and that's clearly what they've tried to address with this patch based on the fact that they're pushing it out so quickly. It's so game breaking that they also give you a workaround. So if this didn't solve it, they suggest you do it a different way. So they say that while the team investigates and works towards a resolution for these issues, we recommend players do not use the scheme slash playbook screen to change your playbooks and instead use the edit coach screen to change your playbook. So if you're still having issues with that, please give that a try and hopefully that'll solve it. Uh, next up, it says incoming freshmen are not appearing in position changes screen during the off season. They tried to patch that. Uh, and then the last one was annual non-conference games are not rotating. They've been having a lot of issues when it comes to create a conference or to realign in conferences when it comes to uh, generating uh, future um, schedules. Uh, which is something that I think that they addressed in the patch yesterday as well. Uh, but this is just another one. So, um, you know, they're obviously still having a lot of issues, which, like I said, they really wanted to try to get this all fixed up before uh, Madden comes out. And there's still millions of more comments when it comes to even these posts under Twitter from other creators, from other people having a million different issues. It really feels like this game is going to take a long time to get right even though it really has a great foundation. So if you guys are having any issues in any other modes, uh, you know, leave it in the comments section because you got to, you know, reach EA some way or just go directly follow them on CFB Direct because this is really the, the best platform to speak to them directly because they'll put out, I know after the first big patch they put out, they had a, um, a tweet where they put out, uh, basically looking for people that were having a specific issue with their dynasty and if you reported them to them directly they were going to try to uh, fix it directly so if you really are having issues especially when it comes to dynasty because that's something they're really taking serious go follow cfb direct twitter and you could tweet at them and you could get much more uh, progress than you can in my comment section, really any YouTube creator section. So I'm going to end the video there, but there were a lot more patches done yesterday to Dynasty Mode, including specifically to recruiting to make it much more difficult. So if you guys want to see more about that, I'll have the link to that video popping up on screen now. So just click the links and until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.